This is not what I expected. Even at the first glance, you just know that it's different. The first story is very shocking. Yeah, I don't know how to. It's more of a feeling that it gives me. It really uh, makes your brain start to fire. So can we talk about it? We can, finally. So it's I Am Leader, and it's two books. The first book is I Am. It's about you as a person. And the second book is about leadership. I mean, it's very different from all the other leadership books out there. Huge fan of all the artwork that's in here. It forces you to be curious by having all the little bits and pieces that you find. Little surprise book. I like books that it's an experience and it's interacting with you and it feels personal. Just for a second, stop and say, I am leader. Like, how does that feel? Well, for most of you, it's going to make you feel nervous because you're not a leader, right? If most people are honest with themselves and they say, I am leader, it will feel more like a question. A lot of the marketing for books, it's like if you buy this book, there's a magic pill and it really doesn't exist. It is a journey, not a destination. I didn't have a dad that was successful. I mean, I didn't have a dad at all. And so I had to figure stuff out on my own. I don't know how you're going to top. I mean, the last time you had a book release, it was number one in five different Amazon categories. I don't think when we were creating the book that we were thinking about sales or charts, we were thinking about the individual. It doesn't just end with the book. There's gonna be an ongoing conversation. It's alive in a sense. This really opens up your mind. It's like unexpected in a really good way. It was so amazing. Every single person that looked at that book's like, oh, I needed more time with it. It's. It's like nothing I've ever seen before in <laughs> the other leadership book.